it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I am going to be planning the week of February 17th in my Erin Codron Vertical Neutral. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I, we have had a couple, like a bunch of new subscribers in the past week or so, so just wanna say hey, and also mention that I use the Erin Codron binder. I do mention this every week, but uh, for those of you who are new, um, the format is exactly the same as the, as the coil bound. All of the sizing is the same. It's just in the binder format. Format. Uh, I am going to be using this kit called Oh Baby from Crafts by Towie. I just think this is so cute. If you don't know, I am currently very pregnant right now, as in get this baby out of me pregnant. I really actually thought I would not be pregnant or filming today, but I am. It's um, Monday morning, the 24th right now, and as of like two hours ago, it's officially the longest I've ever been pregnant. Um, so that is not super fun. This is my third baby. Uh, anyway, I do have this really super adorable maternity kit. I picked this up at Define and Flourish when she was vending. She had like a bunch of older kits for sale for pretty cheap and I got this while it was on sale there. I just thought this was like so, so cute and I was pregnant at the time of Define and Flourish as well. Uh, it is a bit of an older format kit and it, she her kits are, even though this is like a full kit, it is like a little bit smaller in terms of what you get, but I have a ton of extra goodies pulled out, um, a bunch of foil, etc. You do get a bunch of little things. I'm sure I will use a bunch of those. So I am going to pull out my pages and jump in. So I am starting with the date strips here. I actually like, I like the way date covers look better, but date strips are so easy to put down. Um, and because these had the white circles, I decided to use those My Newest Addiction heart uh, date covers that I, or date numbers that I had. I just thought that looked really cute and it, the color matched the kit pretty well those were the blush ones then I'm gonna put down the glitter headers I was like all pumped this week I was gonna I've been watching plan with me is like pretty much non-stop I just every night before bed and like just all the time um, I've just been like super into uh, watching people's plan with me's lately and um, I saw on I think like plan mosh plans was do said that the new Erin Codron ruler that came with like the last one um, that the that it's like the the width of it is like the length of a full box like the old one is the the width of the full box but the new one I guess is the length which I didn't know and then she was using that or plan princess someone was using that to uh line up their glitter headers like perfectly and I was like oh that's such a good idea so I was like all set to do that but then I couldn't find mine uh I could only find my older EC ruler so I was just like oh well I don't feel like spending hours looking for this thing this ruler so I just went ahead and just did it my usual way of eyeballing which works pretty well but I do think that I if when I find that ruler I would definitely I want to try that out because I think it'll make it look a little bit neater uh, and then I am using the two decorative headers that came with the kit and a the gold the bow header like the single bow header from Sadie stickers and I'm gonna pull in a ton of the stuff in that color palette that matches I have like all the quarter boxes and half boxes of that as well and then some uh, scallop headers from art box stickers those are from an oops bundle but you can't really tell on camera in person they're like a little bit more dented but I don't mind um, uh, and then I'm going to put down the full boxes, just kind of like spreading them around. This week was pretty busy. Uh, it was just like, I don't know, it was like front loaded the week because I kind of expected to have the baby towards the end of this week. Just not really based on anything, but just my first was born like right at 38 weeks and my second was born at 39 weeks one day. And this was the week that I was going to like turn that's this Sunday I was 39 weeks. So I just kind of thought that the baby would come kind of some point in between the two. I was wrong because I am now currently sitting in the evening of 39 weeks in one day and no baby yet. Um, although I've had, been having like contractions on and off since Thursday night. Uh, so hopefully soon I will have this baby. I would really love to not be pregnant anymore and to meet this little girl. But anyway, I'm trying to just be patient and enjoy the pre-baby time, etc. Uh, so I did cut down that washi at the bottom just a little. I thought it was so pretty, but I just wanted to make sure I had like a little bit of space to at least run a five millimeter of Simply Gilded. And I went for the pink with gold hearts and I just think that looks so cute. Uh, I really love this kit, but it's definitely giving me like serious spring vibes. Uh, anyway, so then at the end of the week, I had like almost nothing to do and I did like a lot of self-care stuff. And then I really spent the weekend like trying to jumpstart labor because I was like, all right, let's get this show on the road, uh, which maybe has worked. I don't know. I'm having like a lot of like 
early warning symptoms, but so far nothing firm. Uh, I will definitely keep you updated on my Instagram when, when things do start, well, not when they start to happen, but once I have the baby, I'll probably just post a little note. I don't share pictures of our, we don't share pictures of our kids online, uh, like at all. So definitely will not be sharing pictures, but I will let you all know. Um, anyway, I am just putting down the sidebar, doing my, this, my meals and my like little journaling section, but I actually end up like swapping the headers and I'm so annoyed. I didn't notice for a while and then, uh, I couldn't get them up and I don't have any undo right now. So I actually just ordered some undo. So I'll fix it once that comes. Um, I didn't feel like wasting the stickers though. Cause it was like foil stickers, a strip of washi, the stickers from the kit. So anyway, so I'm just finishing up with that washi here and then I'm going to jump into the plan. We saw a lot of family this week. I tried to be like really active. Like honestly, I totally overdid it on Saturday and then I was like really suffering on Sunday, but like I've been walking a lot um, and doing like some workout videos and some yoga videos and stuff, just trying to like, uh, you know, get things moving and whatever and just stay active. But I just like, I'm so ready to be done. And then I'm, I'm going to do the overlays here. I had, I thought the ones, the non quote ones from this little peach palm sampler that I had were really cute. Uh, and I pulled in those bow ones from rose colored days and some heart ones from art box stickers. Just kind of a hodgepodge this week of different ones. Oh, and that other one that came with a rose colored days, a freebie order, uh, just, you know, mixing it up here. And then for head this week on the two headers from the kit I'm using um this art box stickers overlays the the bow and heart ones and then I also have like the single line heart ones which I think are so cute you could also use those as like space dividers uh but I, I just I think they're so cute with like the single line heart and anyway, then I am almost ready to jump into the week. I guess I don't have a lot to say to this week. I really didn't think I was I like really I'm just like Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of in shock that I'm still pregnant. It's my third kid, and I'm pregnant the longest. I've actually been pregnant longer each pregnancy, which is kind of a weird, a weird feeling, and like the opposite of of normal. But anyway, whatever. I, the baby will come when it comes, and I know that. And I'm just trying my best to be patient. Uh, anyway, on Monday it was President's Day, and the kids didn't have school, and my husband didn't have work. So he get his at his new job, he gets bank holidays off, which has actually been really nice. So I thought I still had to do my regular regular Monday report that I do like every week, but it turns out that I didn't because like the company that I do it for was actually closed on Monday. So I had started it, um, but then like somebody sends me data to finish it and I never got the data. So I was just like, hey, what's going on? Um, and they're like, oh, we're closed today. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> it was just a misunderstanding because they they totally thought they had. But anyway, uh, then we went out for, so I did that like in the a really early morning because I because we had plans that day. And then we went out for breakfast and then we met friends of ours that were in from out of town at the Please Touch Museum, which is the children's museum in the area in the Philadelphia. It's a really nice museum. It's really fun. So we had a great time. And then that afternoon, the kids took really bad naps. I think my son must have fallen asleep on, in the car on the way home. So we uh, we went out for smoothies in the afternoon um, at my new favorite smoothie place that I keep going to. And then we did like a late afternoon grocery run and just kind of had a chill night uh, nothing super special going on in the evening, but it was just, it was a really fun day and uh, we had a really good time with our friends and eating smoothies and all that good stuff. Unfortunate about the naps, but the rest of it was fine. And then on Tuesday, back to our usual, usual, uh, my daughter had school. My son does not have school on Tuesdays. He just goes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I took him to a story. Oh, so I'm just cutting down a piece of washi. I just decided to go with like the plain school scripts this week and I used the little one uh, from the art box sample, uh, the art box sticker sheet on Tuesday, and then uh, for the other days when on Wednesday and Friday when both my kids are in school, I use I'll use the bigger st script sticker. Um, so on Tuesday, I took my son to Storytime Library, and it was the craziest library story time I've ever been to uh, in my entire life. It was like the guy, the librarian who was leading it, reminded me so much of like a young Danny DeVito, and like that is a really outrageous thing to say for a library story time. It was just so over the top and like a very, very Philadelphia experience, um, and it was just amazing. I definitely want to take both kids back to it. It was just really just 
hilarious. Uh, and that was really enjoyable. And I got a library card while I was there and I just uh, ordered some books online and I actually just got a call today that they're ready to be picked up. But anyway, I, then afterwards we met my husband for lunch and then while my son was napping, I did some filming and some planning since I didn't get to do it on Monday since the kids were all home and everybody was home and the house was not empty. So I did it during nap time. Again, I was just trying to like get hustle through everything in the beginning of this week, just in case I had the baby, it just didn't end up being necessary, but it ended up being helpful because like by the end of the week, I was like really just kind of like very exhausted and beat, etc. cetera. Um, and then I did, um, and then that night I just like read and chilled out and whatever. Um, and then I did actually finish my report that day, but I forgot to put a sticker in and I'll go back and put it in. So on Wednesday, everybody had school and we actually had a meeting with like a contractor and a designer that my mom's friends with uh, at our new house that we haven't quite closed on yet. Um, and we, I really liked both of them. Uh, and I mean, I knew the, the designer because she's friends with my mom. But anyway, she was really helpful and the contractor was really great. And the preliminary estimate was similar to the other preliminary estimate we got. Like our list has changed a little bit. Uh, and so, but it's good to get like similar numbers or whatever. And then also like we've decided that we definitely need to use an architect given some of the work we're doing. So we're putting the contractor stuff on hold until we get an architect back through the house to like draw some of the more complicated things out. Cause there's like some ceiling work and some stairs work that needs to, that we like weren't initially thinking about doing, but now we're thinking about doing. So anyway, then after that, I just decided to go get my nails done because I didn't really have much going on. And I like was like, oh, if I get my nails done, I can finish all my filming with just my real nails instead of I'm wearing like fake nails in this video. I usually am wearing like press on nails, uh, usually from static nails, which are my favorite press on nails. And you can order them online. I actually have like a referral code in my description if you are ordering for the first time. But anyway, uh, and so I went and got my nails done, which I hadn't, which I did the week before, but then before that I hadn't done in a really long time. And then my daughter was just like a crazy cranky after school. So I used one of these uh, Once More With Love that is from like a Scribble Prince Co. freebie from the new freebies. So I really like the new freebies because they don't have to match the kit. And I just have been like keeping them with my Once More With Love stickers instead of with their kits. Um, so that I actually use them because I almost like I almost never use them with the Scribble Prince Go kits. And then that night we just like hung out and chilled and watched TV, nothing too crazy going on. And then I am just filling everything out. And this is when I noticed that I had like reversed the headers on the sidebar and I'm really annoyed at that, but I will fix it when my undo comes in the mail. Um, yeah. It's like pretty much the pattern of every day. It's like, I realize I'm not going to have the baby that day. Like, cause I expect to go into labor in the middle of the night. I don't know. <laughs> or like in the wee hours of the morning. And then I just like try and front load as much stuff into the beginning of the day as possible. And then by the end of the day, I'm just like super exhausted. Anyway, on Thursday, I, uh, pulled together all of our like tax stuff. Um, my uncle does our taxes. So I wanted to send it to him to give him plenty of time since we are not pay paying clients. And, uh, also, like our taxes are a little bit complicated. We had like a move this year. We sold our house and I, this is my first year like working for myself on taxes. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I had everything together. So I sent that over to him and then I did some yoga videos with the kids, uh, which was really fun. And then I took them, even though it was really cold, we just needed to get out of the house for a little bit while we were waiting for my mom to come over. So I just took them over to the playground. We just bundled up and walked around the playground a little bit. And this was like the start of my like, okay, let's pump things into gear and do all the things to try and get labor going like naturally. Uh, I've never been induced or anything and I've actually never made it like close to my due date. So uh, it's never been an issue before, but I'm just starting to feel like, okay, let's go. Uh, anyway, then my mom came over and to babysit because I did have my regular OB appointment, but she came over super early, which was nice because like I mean, I'm just like, I get really like tired and burned out and at the end of pregnancy is really tough. And like the kids want to climb all over me and I just don't really want them to. So it's, it's been, it's been a challenge, but anyway, she came over pretty early and I took a shower and fully did my hair, like blew it dry and then straightened it. And then I went to my OB appointment after lunch. Uh, and then on Friday, the kids had, I mean, I didn't really do anything else the rest of the day. And since it was already kind of jammed in there, I didn't feel the need to put like chill and watch TV and just lay in bed all night. Um, anyway, so on Thursday or on Friday, the kids had school again. And I was just like, all right, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing today. So I just like kind of hung out and just watched YouTube, drank some coffee. And then I started like Googling workouts to induce labor. And I decided to do a couple of them. So I did a couple of like short 
videos that are that were like mostly squats to be honest and <laughs> uh, to try and keep things going and then it was like too cold to go out for a walk and I really wanted to but I was like I'm not going out in this cold and then that afternoon I had like a Cairo appointment so I stopped and I picked up like smoothies and a salad bowl from that smoothie place that I'm obsessed with now. It's called Clean Juice. I think it's a smallish chain. And then I went to a Cairo and then I was like not sure what to do afterwards. So I ended up finding like this place that you could walk into that does like, it's like a Chinese massage pl- place. Like it's just like a little, like one of the places at the mall, but not in a mall, if that makes sense. And I got a, a like an acupressure foot massage because uh, I've also heard that that can help induce labor, but also it just felt really good. And my feet and legs were kind of sore. So I was really happy with that. And I will definitely be back there pregnant or not. Uh, anyway, uh, then on, s- then that afternoon I watched a movie with the kids. Um, and I like actually watched it with them, which usually I do not hang out with them during their TV, t- TV time. I kind of get stuff done or chill myself, but I just watched, uh, and we watched, uh, oh my gosh, what did we watch? We watched Inside Out, and my daughter was super into it. It was really cute. Then on Saturday, my husband went to Starbucks and got coffee for us, and then we uh, went to the to a mall, not the usual mall we go to, because we had like brunch plans with my family, uh, kind of out by where my brother lives. But we went to a mall by him and just like walked around. The kids played in the play place, and I just like walked laps of the mall, you know, getting my walk in uh, until we it was time to go to to like our brunch. So and then we went to brunch with my whole family. It was delicious. It was really fun. We got to see my little niece and hang out uh, with the whole fam, etc. And then that after. We baked blondies, or I baked blondies with the kids, and then it was super nice out, so we took them to the playground, and I walked around somewhere outside and played with them at the playground, my husband too, and then uh, we got sushi takeout with the kids, actually, for dinner, and then on Sunday, we went to Wawa, and then we went to our regular mall, double mall weekend, my my daughter's fantasy, (laughs) and they played at the play place, and I walked for a little. We didn't really stay that long, to be honest. I was just, like, feeling so out of it and so tired from like the day before and how active we had been um but we did hit up Wegmans which is like my favorite grocery store uh, ever and it's like out by the mall and it's not like super super close to us we don't go every week but it's not like far so anyway we probably go like maybe every other week or every third week um it's just a really nice grocery store so we went there and then I took like a rest and a nap uh, I don't remember if I like actually slept but I maybe just like a little bit but I was just like hung out in bed for like two hours and then my mom and dad both came over that afternoon we all went to the playground together and they just like hung out all afternoon and evening and we got uh takeout from this peruvian chicken place for dinner with all of us and it was really fun and nice and then they hung around for a little while because i was like kind of having a lot of contractions but they calmed and but they calmed down so my parents went home Uh, so we were just seeing if we were gonna need someone to stay over and that's like pretty much every night since thursday i've had a moment where like okay am i in labor am i in labor but then the answer has been no so but that is totally what the end of pregnancy is like i never had that with my daughter like my water just broke very unexpectedly and I was like, oh, I'm in labor. And I was like, not expecting it to happen at all. And I was actually like supposed to go for a doctor's appointment that morning. And I was just like, uh, but like with my son, the end was definitely like this, where you're just like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Is it happening? Is it happening? (laughs) But anyway, so (laughs) I, well, you know, she's going to come when she's going to come, but it's really hard to, and I am just finishing up with some Simply Gilded five millimeter washi to finish out the spread. And that's it. Okay, that is everything all finished up. I love how this looks, it's so pretty. I mean, it's definitely way spring vibes and it's still like February, although this weekend was so warm. So I do feel like it matches that and I am just really excited for the baby kits that I have come in, for the baby to come and all of that good stuff. I did all of my sticker writing uh, with the Sakura Micro Perm Pen and all of my planner writing with the Pigma Micron 03, which is the same thing I've been doing the past couple of weeks. I love how this pen writes, but it's just been bleeding a little bit or like ghosting really badly in the planner. And the Erin Condren paper is so thick and does not usually have that problem like compared to other papers etc so I have been sticking with the Pigma Micron uh, while I'm writing in the planner let me show you what I have left from the kit here I did 
not use this like kind of gold washi um, or washi strips because I was like writing on it and I thought that that would not really show super well. I didn't use a lot of the deco either just because it was so large and I didn't really have space for it. This was like a pretty busy week. I have a couple of full boxes left, some stickers that don't belong in the kit and a ton of little things, some sidebar stuff as usual. Uh, most of the checklists I did use all of the full boxes and that is everything. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at My Crafty Plans. And in case this is my last plan with me for a little while, which I did say last week, I will be back after a short, short break. I do have videos planned in the, uh, planned and pre-recorded in the meantime. So stay tuned to my channel and definitely head over to my Instagram and check check me out over there. I will keep you updated with everything that's going on with when the baby comes and all of that good stuff. And anyway, have an awesome day. Bye.